Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. From what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 9 raised to the power x equals to log 60 on this side. Then, here we apply the power of log n when we have log m raised to the power p, which is the same thing as p log m. Uh, this this becomes x log 9 equals to log 60 on this side. The next step here, we divide both side by log 9. I just divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. Which implies here, log 9 cancel each other. We have x equals to log 60 over log 9. Then from what we have here, 60 can be expressed as 3 times 20, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 9. Then, yeah, this follows log log n. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. Then, what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 9. As this here. We separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, share this video, and also subscribe. Next step here, we can write 20 as 4 times 5. Uh, this all we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Then, yeah, this also follows log log. Rate. All we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. Then here, yeah, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. Then, from what we have here, 9 can be written as 3 times 3, that's 3 square, and also 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 square. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. That is, here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes there, 2 comes there, also here, then from here we have x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. Then, from here, we have log 3 cancel each other, 1 over 2 left here, that is x equals to 1 over 2 plus, here 2 cancel each other, we have log 2 over log 3 
left then plus here we can write this as one over two times log five over log three watch this video to the end yeah we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b this is same thing as log a to base b that is this equation becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3. Then here we can bring this together as one fraction. And we have x equals to the SCM here as 2. Then here we have 1 plus. This becomes 2 log 2 base 3. Then plus here we have log 5 is 3. That is the value of x here we have 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Is it equals to 60 on this side? That is here. We can write 9 as 3 square, which is raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This is equals to 60 on this side. Then this power multiplies and 2 here cancelled each other. That is all we have become 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 this is equals to 60 on this side then we apply the law of indices here when we have a raised to power m plus n this is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n as this here we have 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side and 3 raised to power 1 that's 3 times here we reverse this 2 from power log we have 3 raised to power log 2 square base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side then this same thing as 3 times 3 raised to power log 2 squared, that's 4, base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5, base 3, is it equal to 60 on this side? And this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equal to b. At this here we have 3 times 4 and times 5. Is it equal to 60 on this side? And 3 times 4, we have 12. 12 times 5, that's 60. Which is equal to 60 on this side. That is left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell and share this video with thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now